Hey gang, it's officially uh, day number one. Actually day number two for my Big Valley experience and we're here backstage behind the main stage now and I'll tell you, crews keep rolling in. Trisha Yearwood's uh, guitar crew just walked in now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see who we can find here. All right, well, touring around backstage here. Who do we find but Shane Yellowbird? How are you, buddy? I'm good, man, how are you? Good, good. This has gotta be pretty surreal for you. You got your start here at Big Valley. Yeah. Oh, 2002, I remember how cold it was, so... Oh, well, it's nice this year, just a little bit of wind, but I think we're all right. Now, now, when you actually got the road to Big Valley, did you ever think that you'd be back here actually on the main stage, CCMA awards, hit singles? Um, I don't, not at all, man. It's just, you know, it's hard to expect any of those kind of things when you're in those business, and, like, it's all up to the fans, I guess. You know, you can't just... Well, you have a lot of people behind you, but, you know, it's up to the fans to love you and want you there and stuff, so... Yeah, man, it's awesome to be back and, you know, to be a part of all those great things. Uh, your website a little while ago, I, I think you were going to the Junos or an award show like that, and there was a huge article on your swag bag and, and the swag you got from this award show. Do you remember that? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what, was it that good? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've used half the stuff. In was there a yet. car in there or something? <laughs> like? <laughs> oh, I don't need another vehicle, man. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wandering around backstage, who do we find but Jason McCoy, the road. Wandering hammers. around. Sounds like I was just, I wandered in off the street. Well, which it, could happen. I was the one wandering around. <laughs> Frankly, how I'm back here, I don't know. But you got this big pass, a press pass, the Kiss and Country t shirt. Yeah, you can I get got it. a home laminator. Dude, cool. you have, you have, you know what? I just found out today. What's that? Uh, Camrose. Yeah. Is uh, voted by Maxim Magazine after Daytona Beach, the second. Uh, most likely place for a guy to hook up. Really? Yeah. And we're back uh, we're here. With a girl. Yeah. Or yeah. whatever. Or hey, you know. Or whatever. 2008, right? Sure, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, let us know what's been going on, man. It's been forever uh, in Canada since there's been a new Road Hammers yeah, record. Yeah, we got and then, uh, and then, hold on, we, we get word. It's like, hey, the Hammers got a new single out in the states yeah cool yeah. W when's it coming here uh, it's ridiculous is this whole uh trying to get uh america and canada all synced up but we're getting close we uh, just got out of the studio working on a new record for uh it's gonna be released here in canada first and um we've got we got some good things going on we've got the single comes out next month we've got a uh album comes out in november and a video uh, with that and all that stuff but uh, Cross Canada tour in uh, early 09, so we're pretty pumped. So you're coming back. You got it. That's it. So you're here at Camrose again. Oh, that's be beautiful. Feel, feel good to be back at Big Valley. Feels great to be here. We're so excited, and it's just a, it's one of those things that when you you play Camrose, you're hooked. I mean, it's it's addictive. The people here are awesome. Well, lo and behold, wandering around backstage. Casey Clark. And you know what? This this place will let anybody in, really. You know, you, I was just trying to catch the bus to the task when next thing I know I'm here at Big Valley Jamboree. Well, it, frankly, they heard that you're on Kissing Country now. That's why you're well, getting in easy. It's funny. It's it's right. <laughs> this is the easiest year for me to get in. So you're, you're wandering around. What have you seen so far this year? Who have you talked to? Uh, boy, who who have we talked to? Shaney? Shane Yellowbird? Oh, uh, Tim. Uh, uh, Road Hammer fellas? Talk to them. Oh, and guess what? But but did they make you an honorary member of the band? They did that actually uh, when they launched, you know, a few years back. Okay. Well, did they uh, did they kick somebody out of the band to let you in? Yes. Oh. Wow. Well, uh, but then they let Clay back in. So. That's the one who. Wow. Those. I just about to used a real bad word, but I won't. You wouldn't? No. Not on this show. Mike, you know me. We go. No. We're on the internet, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Those, those assholes. <laughs> it's Mike McGuire backstage once again, this time with Trace Atkins. Trace, welcome to Big Valley. It's good to be here, man. My <laughs> first time. Well, thanks for coming down. And uh, I tell you, it's probably been a whirlwind year for you. We talked about this a couple months back, uh, just before Celebrity Apprentice was wrapping up. Your star has just shot up. Well, you know, that, that, that show now, looking back on it, was a, was a huge opportunity. I didn't look at it that way when I signed on to do it. I was pretty apprehensive about the whole thing. I thought I could really come out looking like a big doofus, you know, and you just didn't know. Uh, but they were kind to me the way they edited the show, and so it really turned out to be a totally positive thing. Did you kind of feel maybe that's what you were being set up for? Was like sort of a country bumpkin sort oh, of guy? Well, the producers knew better than that because I had to do some pretty extensive uh, 
preliminary interview stuff with them and, and meet with them several times before they decided on me uh, being on the show. So they knew better. Uh, but some of the other contestants at first, and Omarosa actually told me this uh, two or three weeks into the show, she said, everybody just dismissed you offhand at the very beginning and just thought that you would be gone, you know, quickly. So nobody even considered you being a, a threat at all. All of a sudden you become a big reality TV star and uh, you're popping up all over the place now. Well, I don't want to be a reality TV star. <laughs> I don't. Uh, that was a one-time deal. And the only reason I did it was because of how passionate I and my entire family are about that charity, you know, uh, the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network, because my six-year-old little daughter has severe food allergies. And that's the only reason I did it, hopefully to try to raise awareness, bring some attention to that issue. And, uh, and we succeeded in that. So mission accomplished. That's the only reason I did it. I don't want to do any more reality TV. Unless it's to benefit a charity like that, I might consider it. You're known to be a pretty rugged guy overall. Did you live up to that image in your personal life? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, look, I'm all cut up and, you know, I work on the farm all the time when I'm not on the road. I enjoy that. It's therapy for me. You know, I grew up that way. I grew up on a farm working hard. And I worked in the oil field for a lot of years and stayed banged up and busted up. Uh, you know, because I, I worked hard and I've always played hard and and my body has paid the price for it over the years. And, yeah, I pretty much live up to it. Uh, there's always something skin up or bruised up on me most all the time. So that really wasn't you on Young and the Restless then? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was funny, wasn't it? I, I just thought it was kind of funny how they just, okay, write this into the thing. You know, they met me in some bar somewhere the night they got married and this, all this kind of stuff. I thought that was hilarious. Something I've been dying to ask you, over the last few months in country music, we've seen a, a bit of a change, a bit of an influx of uh, both popular music and uh, even more recently rock and roll and, and hard rock. And if you think back to when Honky Tonk Badonk Donk came out, and everybody was on you for it and going, you know, what is that? Uh, I mean, now we have Kid Rock who's climbing up the country music charts and Jessica Simpson and, and voices like that. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's great, man. I really do. I mean, uh, you know, over the last decade or so, country music has really opened up and, and, and uh, ex expanded its boundaries. But I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know if I can really say that. You look back at some of the stuff that that Ronnie Millsap was doing in his day and then some of the stuff that Conway was doing in his, in his time, some, I mean, stuff that was really suggestive and just downright nasty. Charlie Rich. I mean, people tend to forget about some of that old stuff, you know, from back then. Um, you know, there's just a youth movement that's going on right now, and and I think that's fine. That's okay. Uh, it'll just make us healthier. Before we go, because it's video for our website here, uh, one thing I've been dying to do, if I ever got the chance to meet you, I'm a big wrestling fan, okay? And if you think back to WrestleMania three, there was that promo poster of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, right? And Hogan's like 6'7", and Andre was obviously 7'. Well, I'm six foot, and you are... 6'6". Six, six. Six, six. Hogan's not 6'7". I've no? stood beside him. No, he's not that, quite that tall. He's about 6'5", something like that. Imagine that. Hogan worked his size anyway. <laughs> he looks like a monster, you know, yeah. when he's on television. And uh, But he's not that. I was surprised, too, when I met him. He's not that big. He's big, but he's not huge like Andre Huge. Well, I think as a way to, to maybe wrap up this video, if you wouldn't mind, if, if Ron, uh, the, the record guy here, can grab the camera and uh, set it up. Okay. All right, so here it is. One time, jeez, man. <laughs> you just turn that on like that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, well, it's the old wrestler in me. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right, there you go. Trace Atkins, everybody. Thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Man. Thanks, Mike. And so far, uh, so good. You two at Big Valley Jamboree. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the blog. We'll have more for you as soon as we can. Take care.